Hi everybody, so it's Meryl, welcome back to my channel. I got inspired by this photo of makeup by women of color. Do you see this gorgeous green, blue, purple, everything look? I wanna look like that. <laughs> so that's my reference photo. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Fun fact is probably she linked all the products she actually used. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just get started. First I need to prime up my eyes with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I do use it on my face, but I start with my eyes. I'm gonna actually use my tube of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. And I'm not setting it because I have a plan. It's a bad plan, but it's a plan. Looking at the reference photo, like the purple is super vibrant. It's like a white shimmery shade in the inner corner. And the green is super vibrant. So what I'm thinking is pack on the green and the purple before and then blend it out with the blue but pack on the green and purple over like the wet concealer we are going to be using my little mini sugar pal primary and secondary palette so i'm calling it because it's only primary and secondary colors no tertiary i'm going to start by using my sigma e25 brush i'm going to start by packing the purple all over my lid really making sure to lay on and this is the shade poison plum from sugar pill it is their matte purple eyeshadow. I'm starting very close to the lash line. Just packing on the purple on the lid area. Just making sure it's all even. Packed on very nicely. We can always put more on later though. So we're gonna move on to, we went and did the purple lid. We're gonna move on to the green. So this is Midori from Sugar Pill. And I'm gonna pack that all in the crease area. And I'm just gonna start packing that on. And it's gonna touch the purple and that's fine. And I'm gonna admit, this one feels way more creamy than the purple did. The purple felt dry, almost. I'm just making sure that all the colors are where they need to be. Putting it in the inner corner. So I'm still using the same singular E25 from Sigma. I honestly, I love Sigma brushes. I think they're amazing. So, that's why. So now we've done the green. So now we have our green, we have our purple. Obviously, they are not blended together. She blends those two shades together with a deep blue. So we're gonna use the blue called Velocity from this palette, so the whole bottom row. And we're just gonna go in between gently and start blending. Right in the actual socket of your eye, you're blending these two colors together. So now I'm blending on top of shadow. So this is where things are gonna get interesting, dicey, we don't know yet. So looking head on, I still see, I'm seeing the blue come up. Okay, I like that a little bit better. So for the blue, we're just gonna pack it on that, in my socket. So that's where the bone of your actual face and your eyeball, your eye socket. So pack that in the eye socket and then begin blending. That's how we're gonna get as much pigment as we need without really trying to lose everything else. And don't worry, we're gonna go back and rebuild up the other colors just because we don't wanna lose them just because we put blue. Like none of the colors will be lost. All the colors have to show for the look to be correct. So now we've gone into velocity and done horrible, horrible things to ourselves. It also has a lot more fallout than the other shades, which I was not expecting. So at the very edge of the green, it looks like there's another shade, but I'm gonna first try blending out the green with just the brush and see what that turns into. I'm gonna use this MAC 217 as my clean brush to blend with. And I'm just going over the edges of the green, softening them out. So I'm gonna touch Butter Cupcake, which is a yellow. I'm gonna touch that very lightly and use that to blend out the green here. I'm just very carefully blending that out. So now I've kind of lost a little bit of the purple on the eyelid. So I'm gonna take another, I'm gonna take a shader brush this time instead. I'm just gonna pack more of the purple on so that it really does stand out again. Taking the Sigma E25 again into Midori, the green color. I'm just gonna go right at the edge of the green and the blue. I'm just gonna go back in. And I'm not touching up the blue because the blue isn't a, the blue's job in this look wasn't as big as everybody else's. So, so Sephora has a new brush tip eyeliner. So this would be your competitor to say Kat Von D since we don't buy Kat Von D anymore on this channel. I'm gonna go ahead and it looks like she's got a wing, a nice curvy wing liner. 
The best part about a brush tip is that you can get so close to the lash line and it glides along your lash line. And if you're thinking right now, wow, that wing that you left looks horrendous, I can fix it because I now have the space and, and everything to just draw a new line. Beautiful. Be right back. All right, got some makeup points. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, do the do of cleaning up any of the fallout. And my action also kind of cleans up the eyeliner too, so I'm not that mad at it. Just so that everything is centralized back to my upper eye area. So this look does include lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Lash Liner Magnetic Liner on top of my current eyeliner. Carefully. Should have thought about it if I was gonna do lashes. I didn't need to have pretty liner. So if you didn't see my lash liner video, I cut all my magnetic lashes into three pieces so that I can put them on magnet by magnet and it gives me more control over what the eyelash look looks like at the end. I also had to paint the lash container with magnetic liner so that I could just stick the lashes back into the container. You know, I thought this would actually be easier because I didn't have with tweet without tweezers, but instead this is just difficult. I have lashes on now. First, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. I'm gonna take the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer because even though she has glow going on, it's all, you can tell it's like highlighter. So she doesn't have that really radiant skin thing going on. I'm gonna go ahead and just prime like those areas where there's just a little too much texture going on. Give those the good old face tune blur feeling. How do we feel about the mustache area? Should I color correct? Probably should, but I'm not. I'm gonna be my real self today. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and then I'm gonna go ahead and take the Fenty foundation, put a pump onto a stipple brush, and then use it to crisscross. Just use the stipple brush to really work it into the skin. For concealer, we're just gonna go back into the Too Faced Born This Way uh, concealer. I was deciding if I wanted to non tour myself to death. I'm not going to do that. But I am going to blend this out with a beauty blender and just tamp the ant into the skin. So now we're all highlighted and everything. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes. And I'm setting with the Beauty Bakery Yellow Flower Setting Powder. Because it is the perfect color to set your under eyes with without looking extra, 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 extra. I'm going to take my Maybelline Brow Precise Brow Pencil and start giving myself that nice ultra sharp brow kind of look. And just to get that super carved brow look, you just need two parallel lines that meet at the tail and that will give you that ultra carved look. I'm going to take my tried and true love here, the Too Faced Brownies pencil. Not going to lie, like I haven't used it in a while, but I know I love it because it is the best. Just go and use that to fill in the brow because it's very pigmented. Do brows make a difference? Look at my brow versus my no brow. Then we're going to just blend it with a spoolie. Then to really sharpen up the look, I'm taking my Color Fop. Color Fop. Color Pop E11 brush and a little bit of the Too Faced concealer on the very tip of the brush. And then just go right under the brow. Go right under it. Um, I'm gonna take the brush that this is the la, 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 brow highlighting brush from Real Techniques. I'm just using it to kind of clean up the brow at the top on this side since it looks kind of funky. So I took this angled brow brush that I had clean and I dipped it in my mascara so I can do my lower lashes. So I'm just getting those lower lashes all hemmed up real quick. And I'm putting two coats so that it really stands out. So it's time to inner corner highlight. Uh, I don't have anything in my sugar pill palette. So I'm gonna use Lucid from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette because it's pretty and it looks like it would be perfect for like that kind of almost iridescent kind of inner corner. And I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corners of my eye, giving me that really nice shiny 
glowy, iridescent look. And I'm actually going to be extra about this. I'm going to spray my brush with setting spray. Just to make it extra, like, hyper-reflective and everything. Because I want it to be really reflective. I want it to really stand out because it's the inner corner. Okay, for the cheeks, she has, like, this really light blush on. And I cannot even tell. She, she has bronzer on, but it's a very neutral bronzer. So, for a very neutral bronzer color, I'm going to take my uh, Too Faced. Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer that I've had for 4.2 billion years. I love it still, even if it's been 4.2 billion years. That means we've just been in love for 4.2 billion years. And I'm going to use that to kind of neutrally bring my face back to a more human tone. Or at least blend the neck with the face, you know. Just make, make it work. Make it worth it, you know. And just carving the face into a more... Pleasing shape and color. Who loves those videos where people do their makeup and, and the makeup artist is like, I'm just take my eyebrows. And they're just gently like tapping it. I don't know, that's just so ple aesthetically pleasing to me. I'm gonna also take whatever's left on the brush on the sides of my nose, just to give it definition again. I don't, I'm not trying to contour my nose. I'm not trying to make my nose look skinnier than it is. I'm trying to make my nose stand back out so you can see my little, you can see my little bulby nose and see that it exists okay for the blush like i said she has like this kind of sheer brownie blush i have this one this is old as fuck this is my black radiance toasted almond br blush it is a powder formula and it's really subtle so i felt like it will be perfect for this look because it's not too, it's not overpowering so it just gently goes on the skin you know, it gives you a little bit of that blush look without really trying to overdo or overserve its purpose. And I'm just going to go over it with the bronzer brush a little bit just to tone it down even more. So we're going to use the Bobbi Brown Moon Glow that I've been working my face in this entire time. Um, just because the since Lucid kind of has that yellowy highlighter look, I'm going to just use a yellowy kind of golden highlighter. So I'm just going to take a little on the sides of my face, but not a lot and not blinding because honestly, as I look at the picture, she's not really wearing blinding highlight that you see from the sides, but her nose highlight is what is truly popping. So I'm just going to take it and make sure it's on the tip of my nose bulb and then use my finger to push it up so it's higher. It gives it more of a button effect. I know. I don't need to do it. I'm doing it anyway. So now we just have the lip. I'm going to set my face really quick with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So for the lips, she did a nude lip with a liner. So I'm going to do a nude lip with a liner. So first she starts with a little nude liner. So I'm going to use BFF3 from ColourPop. I'm going to keep it sparing though. Kept it sparing. This is sparing for me. Leave me alone. And then I'm going to use a Beauty Bakery Cake Pop Lippy in Bastani Ice. Oh, this is actually perfect. Oh, I nailed the lip. Ooh, I'm mad at myself. I actually nailed the lip. <laughs> if you haven't seen my video on the ColourPop Cake Pop Lippies, these are amazing and they feel amazing. So this is the finished look. Um, this is, oh, this is so, I need somewhere to go now, like immediately. I'm going to have to go somewhere because I'm gorgeous and this is beautiful and the world doesn't deserve me. I'm just joking. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that I am a mess when it comes to trying to do, recreate people's looks. Usually this does not come out as good, okay? I'm out here killing it with this one though i'm i'm sorry i know that i like i usually try to be humble about it or like i think i didn't do well i for the first time feel like i got really fucking close look okay this is me and this is her so did i get it or not okay thumbs up with this video if i did it thumbs up this video if i got close comment down below what i could have done to get closer because i'm out here like 
Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see me recreate a specific, speed, speed, specific, a specific look, go ahead, comment that down below. If there's a product that you want me to try on this channel, comment that down below. Let me know. I've been in a really good place, you know, still going to therapy, still having a job. You know, I'm really trying to get in a good mental place and then stay in that mental place. So if you're down with that and you're ready to rock with that, let's go ahead and we're just going to do that. I kind of just like doing my beauty stuff. This fun. This is this is my relaxation station, okay? Y'all are in the relaxation station. I'm happy. You're happy. We're all happy, you know? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stream Cause I Love You by Lizzo <laughs> on Spotify because I love Lizzo. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.